Hi everybody, Joe Patty here, and I'm going to get coaster creative tonight and do my last little Christmas tree kind of coaster. I poured this the other day, and it's really pretty. I did it in this silicone mold, just made it a really nice little thin one, and I just used blue ink with silver glitter. Now, what I'm going to do is turn it over. <laughs> I'm going to put this, that's the back side. Or maybe it should be the front side, huh? But I think I'm going to make this the front side because I've got a, um, you know, that lip right there. And I don't want to make it any thicker. So once I put the sticker on, I can just dome it. And I haven't yet to explain that. But anyway, so I'm going to take this sticker. We've had a rough week here. Um, we've had a death in the family. That's three people that's died in the last month that I know. And I'm juggling a lot of animals right now. And giving rides to work and back and I'm just uh, a little overwhelmed so I thought I'd try to maybe get a little creative tonight and I'm going to put this on here and what I'm going to do is take some acrylic paint and add some snow on the on the edges there and maybe make some snow fall and some sparkles in the background and yeah let's just see how it turns out everybody Alright everybody, I put some of my Artist Loft Titanium White over here earlier and then I got distracted. I had some things to take care of and it dried up. So let's try it again everybody. So I put some white here so I can add some snow onto this little tree. Looky looky, isn't it so pretty? The green sparkles. Pretty tree, pretty tree. The nice dark blue sky. Like a nice Christmas Eve sky. All right, let's add some snow. And when you paint something like this, you want to take the white and dab it out first. You want to dab it out because you don't want globs on anything like this. So then you just kind of get the top like this and the snow's piling up up here. Dab it out. <laughs> I think it's a little bit too much, but it doesn't matter. This is something I wanted to do tonight. Just a little something, something. All right, now I'm going to take my dotting tool and add some little snowflakes or stars, however you want to. Again, like the uh, paintbrush. You want to take the first glob and go off the table with it. Oops. <laughs> of course that would happen, right? So I'm taking my brush and I'm wetting it a little bit and drying the excess off to try to get that off there and I'm just kind of blending it in instead of trying to get rid of it completely I'm just blending it in and then I'm getting this part wet when I do that clump right there because I want to separate it a little bit it'll be just fine all right everybody we're gonna let that dry actually I have a little bigger side over here a couple bigger ones
big snowflakes. Some big snowflakes, everybody. Get along the edges a little bit. Man, you guys, it is really snowing in there, isn't it? <laughs> All right, still pretty, pretty, right? Pretty, pretty little tree in the middle of nowhere on a dark, pretty dark night. Let's see. Come on, let's take a look, see. Pretty, pretty. I'm going to take the green when the white dries here in a second and put the put a little more green sparkle on top there, maybe. Well, maybe I don't have to. Actually, it's pretty sparkly. I better not. <laughs> better not ruin it, huh? All right. All right, we'll come back in a little bit and we'll dome it. And I can explain the doming then. Pretty tree, pretty, pretty tree. Ah, hello, little tree. <laughs> now I sound crazy. All right, everybody, let that dry real good, and we'll dome it with the resin. All right, I'm using my art resin tonight to dome this little Christmas tree. And what people mean when they say dome, it means that they're just topping something off. They don't mean an actual half round dome. If you want a half round dome on something like your jewelry, you have to actually buy a silicone mold that's kind of like a, a shape like that, round like an egg. So when you fill it up and you pop it out of the mold, it's round like that on top. It's, it's a, it has a dome on it. So here, when we're doming this, it means we're gonna put just enough resin in here so it reaches the edge of this because when you make coasters when you pop them out and there's always this little edge around and now we want to dome that so we're going to fill it in there are resins out there that you can buy when you want to make jewelry it's uh, made specially for doming type of jewelry like uh, round domes because you can polish them with car wax and stuff like that these kind of this kind of resin, like art resin and your countertop resins, and your uh, what is that? Family wood coats and stuff like that. You can't polish those because they're they're made of different kind of material in their resin, so it's not meant for polishing. Okay, here we go. So a little at a time, because you don't want to have too much in there, because then you won't be able to. It'll go over the edge as it self levels and you don't want that. Just kind of want to push it in like this. Try to get up against the edge. Now I'm not going to get it totally up against there I don't think, but as it self levels it will it will go there. So I'm hoping I'm getting this right. My eye isn't letting me do much lately. Can't really see what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's uh, see. I'm probably not even in the camera. <laughs> I tell you what. I'm going over the edge over there. Holding it at an angle to show you guys. I'm kind of messing it up here. But that's okay. We'll get it right. We'll figure this out. Right, everybody? All right. That's from before. Okay. Now, I can see some of it's not quite on the edge there. We'll push it over there. I'm going to turn it around slowly to see if I got all edges. All right. Looks like I did. Hopefully it will squeeze out a little bit more to the edges. I think that I can just tell by the way it's looking. I might have to drop a little bit more in the middle here. I think that's what I want to do. Now we'll leave that go. Now, I have enough left to maybe do a little tree. <laughs> Let's see what color I can do. All right. Let's see, 
out of the way a little bit from that. All right, now. All right, everybody. Well, we will unmold in the morning. Hi, everybody. They're finished. I just unloaded the tree. Turned out really nice. Got a little sparkle to it. And on the coaster, I went ahead and put the little dots on the back of the rubber. Turned out really nice. everybody. Thank you for watching. Arrivederci, everybody. See you again soon back in the studio.